Amen, 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 amen. As I journey through this land, singing as I go, on the road to Calvary, to the friends and foes, many arrows in my soul, from without within, but my Lord, Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home oh, my last, ever to rejoice. Once again. As I journey through this land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on. The wind I must win. Oh, I want to see him to look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him to look up on his face. Everyone, please stand. Let us sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. One more time. Oh, I want to see him look up on his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. We want to see his face. Amen. 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 Everyone bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you again, Lord God, for a wonderful message on this morning. Lord Jesus, we thank you for reminding us, Lord, that nothing else matters. Nothing else matters but pleasing you, Lord God. Nothing else matters, Lord God, than seeing your face, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for just constantly reminding us, Lord God, that it's you, Lord Jesus, and it's not about us, Lord God. It's not about us, but it's all about you, Lord Jesus, that we live and give you the glory, Lord Jesus, that we live and win souls, Lord Jesus. Lord God, nothing else matters, and we just thank you, Lord Jesus, for constantly reminding us, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for those that came back on tonight, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for our speaker on tonight, Lord Jesus. Bless him, Lord Jesus. Take away all nervousness, Lord Jesus, in his body. Lord God, and we just thank you for what you have for us on this evening. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, and we praise you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, we're going to take offering. Prepare for your offering. Amen. Amen. If you need an envelope, raise your hand so the ushers can give you an envelope. Amen. Remember your tithes and your offering, your building fund. Amen. All right, I'll now turn you in the hands of our praise choir. Amen. Everyone, please stand and follow the directions of the ushers. Amen. Hallelujah. We have come, we have come to give you praise, holy one, holy 
want it up. Ancient of oh, us. we have come. We have come. Victory. In victory. Filled with love. Filled with love. And liberty. And liberty. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh, we have come, we have to, come give you to give you praise, Holy One, Holy One ancient of days. Ancient of oh, days. we have come, we have come in victory, in victory, filled with love, filled with love and, liberty. and liberty. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh, we have come, we have to come give you praise, give you praise. Holy, one, Holy One, Ancient of Days. Oh, we have come, we have come in victory, in victory, filled with love filled with and love liberty. And liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh, we have come, we have come to give you praise, give you praise. Holy, one, Holy One, Ancient of Days. Oh, we have come, we have come, come. victory, victory, filled with love filled with and love. liberty. And Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh, we have come, we have to give you praise, Holy One, Holy Ancient of Days. Oh, we. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King. Oh, praises be to the King 
glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Y'all gonna help me out? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Huh? I don't know what you come to do. Let me hear you say. I don't know what you come to do. Say it again now. I don't know what you come to do. Let me hear you say. I don't know what you come to do. Oh, no, but know what I come to do, let me hear you say I know what I come to do it again now, babe. I, I know what I come to do, let me hear you say But I know what I come to do Oh, I come to clap my head I come to stomp my feet My feet on the gig, I pray in praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I got the victory. victory. Oh. Oh. oh! Put your hands together. Come on! I don't know what you come to do. Let me hear you say. I don't know what you come to do. Oh no! I don't. Know what you come to do? Let me hear you say. I don't know what you come to do, but I I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say. But I know what I come to do. Say it again now, but I know what I come to do. Let me hear you say. But I know what I come to do. Oh, I come to clap my hands. My hands. I come to stomp my feet. My feet. I come to give God praise. Give praise. I got the victory. victory. Oh. 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 oh, you don't know. You, you don't, don't know. know. Like I know. Like I know. What the Lord, what the Lord has, has done for me. Has done, done for me. me. You wouldn't just stand there. You wouldn't just stand there. You praise him too. You praise him too. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. Like I know. Like I know. What the Lord has done for me. Has done for me. Now if you knew if what I've been through. You what I've been, been through. through. You wouldn't just stand there. You wouldn't just stand there. You praise if you don't want to praise him, you don't want to praise him. Watch me praise, watch me praise him. If you don't want to praise him, you don't want to Watch me praise, watch me praise him. If you don't want to dance, you don't want to dance. Watch me dance, watch me dance. If you don't want to praise him, you don't want to praise him. Watch me praise him, watch me praise him. If you don't want to praise him, you don't want to praise him. Watch me praise him, watch me praise him. If you don't want to praise him, you don't want to praise him. Watch me praise him. Watch me praise him. Watch me. Watch me. 
Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. about myself, so y'all got to help me. Amen? Amen. Amen. It was early one morning, yeah. just about the break of day. Woo. Jesus came and touched me, and he washed my sins away. Yeah. I started running, I started shouting, Hallelujah. found no time to doubt it. I tell you that oh, God, God, it's the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost. It was early one morning. Just about the break of day, Jesus came and touched me, and he washed my sins away. I started running, I started shouting, found no time for doubting. I tell you that I have oh, got something, it's the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost. It was early one morning, just about the break of day. Jesus came and touched me, and he washed my sins away. I started running, I started shouting, found no time for doubting. I tell you that I have oh, got something. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Save me. Save me. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Set me free. The Holy Ghost. Turn my life. The Holy Ghost. Draw me out. I got something. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And he's moving. Moving down in my soul. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And he's moving. Moving down in my soul. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And he's moving. Moving down in my soul. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. And he's moving. Moving down in my soul. It's moving. It's moving, 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 mo
my soul. Hallelujah. How many of y'all happy you got your saved? How many of you happy you saved? How many of you happy you got the Holy Ghost? Speaking in tongues. Oh, hallelujah. Moving down in your soul. Hallelujah. I know I'm happy I got it. I got it. I got it. Amen. I wouldn't know where I'd be without it. Yeah, I do. Dead. I'd be dead. I know exactly where I'd be. Dead. Oh, hallelujah. Because that Holy Ghost kept me. Hallelujah. Yes, he kept me through so many things. Amen. So I'm happy I got it. Amen. And the song they sung before that, it's just, watch me praise him. Watch me praise him. And I was just thinking about all the stuff I've been through all throughout my life until this very moment. And I thank God for all of it. I thank God for all of it because I wouldn't be here without it. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. I don't have really a title or nothing. So amen. Maybe one to come up. Amen. Amen. But. Was talking about listening to the pastor this morning through Sunday school and this morning service, and it's around the same same lines. Like heaven gots to be your goal. It gotta be. Ain't nothing else. If heaven ain't your goal, then you wasting your time. You wasting your time because if you're looking for anything else except for heaven, you're wasting your time. It's a waste of your time. But heaven has to be your goal. But the way a lot of us act, we act like hell is our goal. We act like hell is our goal. And we all, as we heard pastor this morning, and we all should go through that soul searching. Why am I not doing the things that the apostles did? Why am I not? My shadow's not healing nobody. Why if people take a piece of my handkerchief, it ain't healing nobody. Why, when I speak to somebody, they don't want to be saved? Why does my life don't represent, or should it represents, but why is not reaching somebody? We all should go through that. Because I know it's, it's three things I think about all the time. It's heaven, it's death, and commitment beyond, beyond common sense. I think about that all the time now. Because we can't get to heaven we won't be ready for death if we ain't committed beyond common sense. Committed, yeah, we hear that we, those of us that play sports, those of us been in school, we hear commitment all the time. But do you really know what that means? Commitment is beyond just regular definition. That means your life, you literally got to hate your life. If you don't hate your life, this doesn't matter. None of this that God is teaching you, none of this that God is giving you matters, but you got to hate your life. Because when you hate your life, you'll be able to take the tests and the trials. You'll be able to take the persecutions. You'll be able to take people talking about you because you don't care. Because all I'm worried about is making it to heaven. That's it. 
I don't care what you say about me. I don't care how you think about me. I don't care what happens in my life. This got to be my ultimate goal because I know to get to that, that place, I know I got to go through a whole lot of different stuff to be ready to walk through that gate. Amen? Amen. Let's go to uh, Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Amen. Let's start at verse 22. You got it? Luke chapter 13, verse 22. Amen. And he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, strive to enter, into, enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. He said, strive. What are you striving for? Everything we want in life, we strive hard for. We'll go after it with all our unction, with all our mind, our whole being. We go get it because I got to go get that. If it's a job, you dress right, you get right, you have your, your resume right, you have everything right because I got to go get this job. If it's a car, you save your money. You do all what you need to do to prepare to get whatever you want to get. But why is that not the same thing when it comes to heaven? Heaven got to be the ultimate goal. I should be saving, shaving off sin. I be, should, should be saving off anything that's not becoming as a saint. But we don't do those things with your, old, with your spiritual life, but you'll do it for your old nat nasty natural life. When you talk about strive, strive through the straight gate. When you talk not straight as y'all thinking straight, when you talk about straight, it's talking about a narrow with a whole lot of obstacles around it. Whole lot of obstacles. It ain't, it ain't easily seen. It ain't, but when people peek down there, they don't want to go down there. They take all that to get through that nasty gate, but they don't know. It's a beautiful thing on the other side of that gate. That's a beautiful gate to us. That's a wonderful gate to us. But the thing about it is, we don't act like it. We don't act like it. Because we know the first thing when we go through something, we start complaining and crying. But that's striving. Striving meaning to struggle. Off tops. Struggle. He said, you want to get through that gate? You got to struggle. Amen. Literally, to compete for a prize. Isn't heaven a prize to you? Is it not a prize? Is it not the ultimate goal? Is it not the thing I came over here for? Because I heard somebody said it's a better life. I heard it's mansion. I heard it's a pearly gates. I heard it's streets of gold. I heard it's happiness. No more crying. I heard out I, I can see Jesus and praise him all my rest of my days. But that's a prize. But he said to get that prize, it's going to be a struggle. Oh, hallelujah. To endeavor and accomplish something. Fight. To labor fervently. Fervently. That means hot heat. That means you're going to go through some intense struggles. That's why people, a lot of our people can't go through that door. Because the moment they see intense struggles, they don't want it. They don't want it. Amen. And one thing I liked about it, it says, the word came from the Grecian games. Strive means to agonize. Races, wrestling. They strove and agonized or put forth all their powers to gain the victory. Are y'all putting forth all your powers to get heaven? Are you putting forth your whole being? Remember, God said, I want your mind, I want your body, I want your soul, I want all of you. But that's what it takes to get the ultimate goal. That's commitment. When you're striving, that's commitment. I'm going to go through whatever God sent me through just to get through that gate. Here it is, and I'm thinking about struggle. And I'm thinking about the stuff I'm going through right now. When I think about commitment and striving. Here God tell me, who got a family with 10 kids and a wife, not to go get a job till my church is finished with all this renovation. That's stupid to a lot of folk. That's dumb. What you mean? You're going to work at the church for free? Don't go get no money, and you got kids to provide for. That's struggle. That's agonized. I'm going to listen to God and what he tell me to do, but here's the key about it. Look at all that stuff. Yes, I'm broke. Can't buy a taco. Can't go buy some bread for myself to eat. That, that don't, that's okay. But I'm learning a lot about God in the midst of this struggle. 
Oh, hallelujah. On the way to that gate. It's funny how when you're in the heat of your fervent labor, in the midst of it, you learn a lot about God. So I wouldn't trade that. I was telling pastor one day, I wouldn't trade this information and knowledge I get for nothing. But I'm broke. It's a struggle. But I got to get that prize. I'm going to listen to God. God will take care of the family. He already is. When I need money, go look in the fish's mouth. So I have to worry about nothing. So when I need gas, God so happily give me money. But you learn a lot when you go through your struggles. So it's a whole lot of knowledge in your struggles. But if you don't go through nothing, you won't get the knowledge provided to make it through the gate. You got to go through the struggle to get through the gate. He said, he said, is it few to be saved? And he, he asked him sharply. Yeah, it's going to be few because nobody want to go through this way. He said, wide is the other way if you go over there in Matthew. He said, wide is the gate. Straight is But nobody want to go. Nobody want to go. Oh, you got to go through that? Yes. You doing all that for that building? Yes, because it ain't just a building to me. This is the house of God. See, look how people's minds is twisted. You mentioned the scripture earlier. You ain't transformed in your mind. You ain't renewed because you conform to the world. So it's just the building in you. It's the house of God. It's where I can praise him. It's where I got peace. It's where I get my help. It's where I learn how to go to get through this narrow way. One other meaning, meaning when they said they wrestling and they strove and agonized, they were long trained for the conflict. Y'all all been long trained for the conflict. See, all the people, all these ex -veter these veterans in here, they was long trained for war. So y'all trained all that time. So when war came, y'all was ready. Well, y'all was ready for it. So they trained you for every little thing that you're going to face out there in the battlefield. you are already been trained for losing jobs. you are already been trained for losing family members. you are already been trained for getting kicked out of your place. you are already been trained for losing houses and cars and all that stuff. You've been trained. It's going to happen. You, you See, the, th the funny thing about it over here is, yes, you lose a lot of stuff, but you ain't losing. You lose a lot of stuff over here, but you're not losing. Hallelujah. See, y'all think y'all losing. See, that's you got to change your mentality. No, you're just struggling to get the prize. That's all. You're struggling your nasty little nasty natural life. Why you can't struggle to get heaven? You ain't losing. But I don't learn nothing if I don't lose a daughter. I don't learn nothing if I don't lose my job. I don't learn nothing if my truck don't stay at Billy's. I don't learn nothing. It's a struggle. Yeah. Labor fervently. You got to get over here and really work your fingers to the bone because I got to get through that gate. Right. Yes, I'm going to get cut. Yes, I'm going to get socked. Yes, I'm going to get beat up. Like Pastor said, just drop your anchor, you'll be all right. But y'all don't want to drop nothing. You want to drop Jesus before you drop anything. It's a struggle over here, y'all. If you don't realize that by now, you're going you to backslide. You're going to backslide. Ooh, hallelujah. Luke chapter 14. You got to strive. This ain't no cakewalk. Matter of fact, I don't want it to be a cakewalk. Nothing I've been through been a cakewalk. It ain't good for you if it's a cakewalk. I don't want it. I, I think something wrong if I get stuff too easy. Be like, wait a minute. Am I supposed to have this first? Because this was just handed to me. Sometimes God bless you like that. But don't think everything going to come that easy. One thing, one good thing my mama told me when I was getting married. And God was just blessing and blessing and blessing. She said... Don't freak out when stuff don't come that easy next time. Boy, she was right. Because sometimes God make you sit and wait and wait. And he just ringing you and ringing you. It's a struggle. He want to see how bad do you want me? How bad do you want Jesus? How bad do you want to see him in his glory? How bad do you want to see? Oh, hallelujah. How bad do you want to see him? But if you want to see him badly, you'll go through the struggle and you'll take it with a smile. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 20, let's start at verse 26. Amen. If a man come to me 
and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters. Yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciples. He said, I don't even want you if you can't hate nothing. But we put everything before God. That's why we can't labor. That's why we can't strive. That's why we can't struggle. Because everything comes before God. Everything comes before prayer. Everything comes before pe- fasting. Everything comes before reading your Bible. Everything comes before listening to your pastor. Everything's come before everything except your old nasty life. And he said, if you don't hate your life and your family members, I don't want you. So if you can't hate yourself, you never can get to striving. Amen. And he said, yes, the scripture said hate. When it comes to me, you, ain't, you don't mean nothing to me. That's what God said. I want you to think that way. Yeah, I love you. I do this, but I got to go to church. Yes, I love you, but I got to pray. Yes, I love you, but I'm going to do what my pastor told me to do. I ain't, you not that special. But see, the problem is you got to say that to yourself. We don't say that to ourselves enough. You ain't that important. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, you ain't that important. Because I got a prize. I was telling somebody, don't let nothing come in between you and your happiness. In other words, if this sin going to make me unhappy, I can't do it. If going here and missing church going to make me unhappy, I can't do it. What I mean by happy, not momentary happy, that ain't happiness. Me happy for five minutes don't mean nothing. I want to be happy forever. And see, that's what y'all missing out on. Because striving is being happy forever. Because when you really realize, I'm going to make it through that door, none of this matters. The struggle doesn't matter. Because yes, I get beat up for this. Because I know one day I'm going to see Jesus' face. One day I'm going to have my mansion. One day I don't have to cry no more. Ooh, hallelujah. And whosoever do it not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. He's telling you, if you don't hate your life, if you don't strive, I don't want you. I don't want you. You no good to me. Because you ain't going to do my kingdom no good. Because you can't take nothing. If you can't take nothing, you can't be a witness. If you can't be a witness, what you over here for? That's our whole job is to be a witness. Our whole life is supposed to be a witness. But the whole, the, you know the best witness is? Going through something and not showing it. That's a witness. Because people say, man, I didn't even know they was going through all that. Why? Because they, they come in here smiling. They still praising God. I never knew they was broke. I didn't know they was struggling like that. Why? Because you know, hey, I'm striving. I got a prize. And when I know I got to get this prize, I got to be an example. Because this other weak saints you got around. He said the weak going to be with you always. So won't you, don't you want to be strong for the weak? We can make better saints if we be strong. We can be better saints if we strive better. We can be better saints because we have helped the other person come up to where we are. But you don't want to help nobody because you're too busy crying. I don't want to strive. Pastor, this always keeps happening to me. Why? Because you didn't listen to Pastor a long time ago. When stuff happened, did I listen to God? Did I listen to what my pastor said when God told him to tell me this? This, oh, I didn't. This is what's happening to me. Because we don't look at self. Because you ain't striving. Because you love yourself too much. Oh, hallelujah. Didn't he say if you, if, you, if you forget about your life, you'll save it. But if you don't, I kill you. Y'all, 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 think, y'all, want, y'all think y'all scared of death. You're holding on to your life. God will kill you. Because that's more important to you than me. He said, hate your life. That's why you, you want to wonder why you having problems struggling through your tests and trials? Because you don't hate your life. Hate. Hallelujah. For which of you intended to build a tower, sit it not down first and count it the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? Did you count your cost when you came over here? He said, don't you want to finish this race? Don't you want to finish it? Did you come over here to get saved and quit? Ooh, hallelujah. 29. Let's happily, after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that he behold is begin to mock him. Mm, mm, mm. Have you seen other people? 
they start off good telling them, I'm saved. I'm saved. You know, you need to stop doing that because you're going to go to hell. I'm saved. Then they start doing it, other people going to mock them because they didn't finish. Don't y'all do that? Amen. That's the worst thing you can do. I thought you were saved. You come telling everybody that you saved, but look at you now. One brother told me, I ain't never left the church. He ain't here now. Ooh, hallelujah. But see, that's the problem with us. We always run in our mouth, but you ain't striving for nothing. You over there popping off at your mouth. He said, keep quiet when you come before me. Because you're always running your mouth, and you ain't, gonna, you ain't ready to finish nothing. Soon as I send a little breeze by you, a little light trial, you're crying. You ready to leave the church. Ooh, hallelujah. But he said, you better labor fervently. You better, you better be, make this your business to finish. You better make this your business, your whole life being. I got to finish this way. This is my goal. I don't care. Yes, I give up this. I give up that. I got to go to the, through that gate. See, and that's what I love about the apostles. Certain ones, he told them, I must let them know what great things they got to suffer. He told them. I got to let them know what they got to suffer. Did that make them quit? You're going to be killed upside down. You're going to be beheaded. He told, but you got to go to Rome. He knew what was happening. Paul knew what was going to happen at Rome. He wasn't, but he went over there anyway. His whole journey, I got to get to Rome. If God really told you what was going to happen throughout your life, would you be here today? But we want to do like the apostles. Some people want to be called apostles. But if God really told them the stuff they was going to go through, you think they'd sign up for it? Amen. Talking about struggle. They said, Lord, I don't care. God told them beforehand the struggle to get through the gate, and they didn't quit. They said, let's go for it. Ooh, hallelujah. And we, and we, we want to be called in that number? God said, these, the Bible can't, shouldn't even be, these men wasn't even worthy to walk around. And he said, I can't even tell you that you're going through something next week. I can't even tell you you're about to lose two or three of your kids. I can't tell you up front because you're a wig out. You're coming to me praying, Lord, please don't do it. Lord, stop it. Lord, do, no, I told you what I was going to do. He trusts them enough to tell them, I'm going to kill you at the end of this road, and you're going to die violently. And they serve God the more. What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Because we don't hate our life. That's why we can't strive. That's why heaven can't be our natural goal. Because we don't hate our life, y'all. Ooh, hallelujah. Saying this man began, build, and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another king sitteth not down first and consulted whether he able to with the 10,000 to meet him and cometh against him with 20,000. Or else while uh, others is yet great way off, he sendeth an ambassador to desire conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. You got to forsake all. Or you not going to strive. When you forsake all, you don't have nothing holding you down that's going to keep you from striving. Because I don't care. I don't care. That's why a lot of these, when you go high up in the military, they don't want them to have families. They don't want them to have families. Because... You ain't going to do what I tell you at the drop of a hat if you got a wife to go home to. You got kids. You're going to be thinking about them, and you can't get the job done. So drop, forsake all. Nothing else matters. But God, and you guaranteed heaven when you think of it like that. You'll strive better. Hallelujah. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. I hope I'm helping you. Because God going to take your stuff. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Don't get attached to none of this junk. Hebrews chapter 12. God going God to take your stuff. Just know that. Wait, I, I, if, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Pastor Priest not a while ago, he said, y'all going to go through some stuff? And then he prayed over all of us and said, get ready for it. 
Amen? He going through stuff all the way down. You think you ain't? Jesus went through stuff. You think you're not? Oh, hallelujah. You was called for this. Amen. You was called. To, he said, we like sheep led to the slaughter. Oh, hallelujah. Look, it's a beautiful thing to go through this stuff, y'all. It's wonderful. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. Just go through something. Look at the knowledge you get. I'm learning how to do all this stuff that I didn't know I could do. But I thank God for the knowledge. And then talking to him, I'm here at the church, so I get to talk to him more and more. So I'm learning more and more. So it's a beautiful thing to go through him. Because if you don't go through your tests and trials, you wouldn't even talk to him. So he got to send you through something because he knows this will get them on their knees. And that's sad. God got to mess your life up for you just to talk to him. He saved you. We sing all these songs that you don't understand. You can't pray them like I pray them. We sing all this stuff, but you can't talk to them on a regular because you don't hate your life. Ooh, hallelujah. Verse 1. This come after he talking about the faith, and he was talking about Moses. He talked all about the heroes of the Bible. Amen? Wherefore, seeing we also compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Lay aside all your junk. Lay aside all that stuff that's holding you. Lay aside your family. Lay aside your old no good mama. Lay aside your no good daddy, your kids. Lay aside all the junk that's holding you from striving. Lay aside. He said, just lay aside. Oh, hallelujah. It said, and, wait, and the sin. See, you got to get rid of your stuff that's holding you. And then he said, get rid of your sin. See, we think lay aside all this other stuff. Your weight is your sin. No, there's two different things he's talking about here. Because we got stuff that's holding us on that you're going to hold on to that you don't need in your life. But you won't let it go. Oh, hallelujah. And he said, and your sin. That so easily beset us and let, let us run with patience the race is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy, listen to how he's, for the joy that was set before him, what? The joy. Isn't heaven the joy that's set before you? So why can't you endure your cross? He said, if you can't pick up your cross, he said, I don't want you none of mine. He said, Jesus, he said, the joy that was, I saw Beverly's, so I got to go to the cross. I saw John, I got to go to the cross. I saw James, I got to go to the cross. I saw Church of Apostles, I got to go to the cross. That's the joy. Because one day they're going to serve me. One day they're going to praise me. I, that's the joy. So I endure this pain. When you going to endure the pain for them bums on the street? When you going to endure the pain for them prostitutes? When you going to endure the pain for the people on your job? When you going to endure the pain? People need to know there's some folk out there that's going through stuff that ain't looking for blessings. The blessings come with this, y'all. It's a blessing that I got a family and my wife ain't complaining. I ain't making no money. That's a blessing. Because they got to learn how to trust God too. But if y'all don't know with the joy that's set before you, you're not. He said, God is the author and the finisher. Look at him. He the started to complete all this. You got somebody that started it and completed it before you. Look at him. Hallelujah. Didn't the scripture say, mark the perfect man? Who you marking? Your nasty, no good life because you don't hate it. That's why you can't strive. That's what God did. Strong. He was striving. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Despite, he didn't care about the shame. He didn't care how he died. Because he know, I got to go down for these people. I got to die for these folk. Ooh, hallelujah. And it sat down at the right. But look what he got. He sat down at the right hand of God. Oh, hallelujah. For consider, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. When you start getting tired, think of Jesus. When you start wanting to give up, think of Jesus. When you start wanting to give up, think of him. When your tests start getting hard, think Jesus. You went to the cross for me. Think Jesus. He, he got slapped around, beat 
all his blood ran out of him for me. I can go a little bit more. He said, ye have not yet resisted under blood striving against me. So he said, you should be able to go through what you're going through. He said, I died for the whole world. Y'all ain't dying for nobody but a few folk. But y'all don't want to do that because you love your life. He said, I lay my life down. He said, they don't care. I lay it down. When are you going to lay yourself down? Having problems with your brothers and sisters? Can't get along with your brothers and sisters? Because you love your life. We should get along, y'all. If anybody, it should be us. But when you want to be mean, think of Jesus. The author and the finisher of your faith. Ooh, hallelujah. Verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourges every son whom he receiveth. He going to beat you up. Tell you, he going to take stuff. It's going to seem like he don't love you. But one bishop thing, bishop always say. He say he got to hurt you deeply before he use you greatly. That stick with me. Because that's what God does. He breaks the most. The, Paul, he broke all the way down. Jesus, he said, he, he gave, he, he, look what he did to Jesus. He loved him. He loved us. He going to break you down. But I got to do this for you to be able to take that, that road to that gate. You can't take the road to the gate. Remember, you're thoroughly trained for the conflict. You're ready for it. You just got to buck up. Y'all don't want to buck up. When I mean buck up, that means I'm about to take this. Lord, bring him. Hit me with your best shot. Right. But y'all scared to say that. Yeah. Don't be scared to say that. Lord, because you want the hard test. Remember, Bishop used to tell me, oh, that's the jobs you want. Right. Because you learn the best. Ooh, hallelujah. Stop being scared to go through your stuff. He said, when you get weary, when you want to faint, he said, you just call on me. Look at me. Go read, go read the scriptures of what they did to Jesus. They beat Jesus up. God let it all happen to him just for your no good, lazy self. For a bunch of people that love themselves and don't love him. Ooh, hallelujah. Let's go back to Luke. You got to hate your, hate your life if you're going to serve Jesus right. He said, matter of fact, if you don't, I don't even want you. I don't want you. That's some cold words. But that's the stipulation if you're going to make it to heaven. Give up your life. That's all he's saying. But why not? He said, I want your life. I want a living sacrifice. Come and give it to me. It's funny. God know how to take care of us the best, but we scared to give our whole life to him. We give, uh, Lord, you can have this percentage, and I will take all this percentage. You got five, I got 95. That's sad. Because when we see when, when pastors start adding fast days and stuff, we start squirming. Why? Because you don't hate your life. You should be, yeah, give me some more fast days. But we don't do that. Because you, you're scared of the narrow way. But that's the only way. That's the only way you're going to make it to heaven. You got to go through that gate. Yes, that gate. People walk by like, no, I can't go through that. No, I got, they look through that. No, 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 I can't go through that. Well, God don't want you. All the ones that say they can't, he don't want you. He said, don't even come to me. He said, because this is what I want. You got to hate your life first. Hate your life first. And then bear your cross. Once you didn't do that, I'll receive you. But if you don't want to do that, get out my face. Get out my face. That's how I am. If you can't hang with me and we going through this and we going through this neighborhood, get out my face. Yes, we going to enemy's territory. So what? If something go down, you better have my back. I know that much. Because <laughs> when I catch you later, it's on and popping. Amen. We like that, but Jesus said, I'm like that. But then, it's funny, all us hard folks, all us hard folks from the streets, we turn to little punks when we come over here. 
can't take nothing. We can't take nothing going, no going through nothing. We can't take nobody talking about us. We can't take nothing. But we was getting beat up, shot at, stabbed, all kind of stuff out there. Come over here. Oh, no, I can't go through that, Lord. Well, you just was on the deathbed out there. And was right back out the hospital, right back on the street. We had a homie named Sleepy. We used to call him Nine Lives. He got shot up every time. Soon as he got out the hospital, he was right back out there. Caps, beat up, shot up. And then he gets shot again, go right back in, come right back out. Back on the street. We can't do that, y'all. Wasn't Paul and them like that? They get beat up, thrown in jail, beat in jail, come right back and preach. I ain't going to preach in no other name. Why? Because I got to go. So where's your goal at? What's your goal? 13, 24 again. Strive. Everybody reading. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Amen? Amen. Amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I, I, love, that, I love that scripture. When he read it, I said, uh, you have to be ready to preach that scripture. Amen. Because you got to admit and look people square in the eyes and let them know this is a hard way to go. Amen. Church of Apostles, listen, I'm going to always remind us. We, listen, listen. If y'all don't, if y'all don't, if y'all don't believe nothing else I ever tell you, believe this. Let me say it this way. I'm a special. Let me revise that. I'm a very special person for Jesus Christ. I'm very special. You understand that? Folk can say what they want about me, them, I don't care. I'm very special. Can I say that again? I'm very special. God would not have called me to do what I do and then deem me to be very special. Now, if he called me to do what I'm doing and I know I'm very special, guess what that means you are? You're very special. You're not like regular church folks. You understand? You're not like regular church folks. Because we get preached to. We get preached to in such a way. I, I'm telling y'all this morning, them questions y'all saw, she wrote those questions. So if y'all holler about pastor, I don't, I, don't, I don't create the Sunday school lesson. She does. I don't know if she get advice. She don't get mine. And I love them. We're special people. Now, in all honesty, all of God people are special. Because he said we are royal priesthood, a holy nation, peculiar people. But see, the reason I'm saying it the way I'm saying it, because y'all don't accept that you special. You let the world tell you, well, you just like everybody else. I am not. And I repeat with all my things, I am not like nobody but John. And if you're going to compare me with somebody, compare me with Jesus. Don't compare me with no human. No human. I'm exempt from all other human behavior because I choose not to do it. Not that I don't have it. I choose not to do it because I'm special. I'm special. The reason we're all special, y'all, we all grew up with some kind of issues in our family. Even folk grew up in the church grew up with issues in their family. But look, God looked down. And saw a person sleeping in a bush on crack, ready to knock somebody in the head and rob them. And said, get, get up, boy. I got something for you to do. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I got something. Get up, get up, get over here. Let me clean you up. I got something. Now, if that ain't special, everybody else walking past you. Ready to spit on you. And Jesus walked up and said, come on out them bushes, boy. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on off the street, honey. You ain't got to do that. Come, come on, John. You ain't got to do that. That's special. That's special. We are special people. And God is saying, now, I done cleaned you up. I got you clean. You, you, you're thinking straight. Now you got two gates, two doors you can go through. You can go back through that soft one and you're going to end up on the street again. You can go through this hard one, 
and it's going to tear you to pieces. But on the other side, you know about hard time. Because remember, you didn't have no money when you were sleeping in the bushes. So I don't have to deal with you on not having money. You're used to that. I don't have to deal with you folks not liking you. You, you used to that. Amen? I don't have to deal with you not having a place to sleep. You used to that. I don't have to deal with you being sick because when you got sick, you overrode it, so you're going to override it now. Keep overriding it. Amen? Do y'all get what I'm saying? So God said, the stuff that y'all bugging me about, like he was saying, in the world, <coughs> y'all used to that. And then you come over here and then all you young people, well, I ain't never did this. You done saw your parents. Amen. The Whitfields. Y'all see the struggles y'all daddy go through. Y'all still got a roof over your head. You still eat good. Y'all got a whole lot of friends, which is your own sisters. So when y'all grow up, y'all used to being broke. Y'all used to being broke. I grew up. I grew up and only had one pair of shoes. So I'm used to being broke. I grew up having to grow my own food. I'm used, I'm used to beans. Love them. Potato chip, we didn't get that. Y'all crying because y'all can't get junk. We got junk once every six months. So I'm used to, do y'all get, I'm used to that. Liking me, I don't recall anybody did like me until I got saved. So I'm used to folks not liking. And, and listen, all of us are used to that. Amen. 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 Right. Beverly, you used to not having no mama. You used to not having no mama. You used to not having no. But did we all have a mama? Yep. Right there in the house with us, didn't we? Right. But we'll walk around like we ain't had no mama. So what are you not used to? You're not used to folks disliking you? Your own mama didn't like you. Oh, Holly. Your own daddy didn't like you. Now you worry because David don't like you. Who cares about David liking me? All I care about is Jesus loving me. Nothing else matters. We used to this. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let us stand. We used to this stuff, y'all. But I tell you one thing I'm not used to. Y'all know what I'm not used to? Oh, Pastor, what you want? Pastor, you doing all Pastor, you want some more water? Pastor, you ain't got to pick that up. Now, that ain't you too. I'm like, y'all crazy. Y'all, something ain't, y'all doing all that for me. What you want? I ain't used to that. Call me no good. <laughs> I'm used to that. I'm not, this is, this is, this is, and maybe, this, maybe this is what y'all afraid of. Just maybe. Maybe y'all not used to folks loving you. Maybe that's what the problem is. You're not used to folks really loving you, huh, Misha? Ain't nobody never loved you like this. Nobody. Maybe that's why y'all afraid of me. Because every man y'all had was trying to get in your draw. And then now y'all got a man that love you and don't want to go near him. And you don't comprehend that. Maybe y'all can't comprehend that. Like, no, he wants something. I've been riding 12 years and he ain't never did nothing. No, he going to do something. 12 years? Baby, we both got old now. You know I ain't interested. Maybe that's the problem. Somebody, you know, Harry Manchester told me that years ago. And I didn't comprehend it until now. Maybe that's what the problem is. He said, John, some folks ain't used to being loved. Some folks just not used to that. Maybe, and it, just, it ain't just women, it's men. We ain't used to being loved. Like, wait a minute. Because we were taught in the street that if somebody showed you that much attention, they wanted something. They, they want something. What you want, they gonna act. They gonna tell me later, it's coming. And you've been with Jesus, and all Jesus asked you to do was just, just live right. 
Just live right. That's all I'm asking you to do. Now, what, uh, what, what are you saying? I don't want, I, oh, hallelujah, Jesus, I don't want nothing, but what, I just want you to be happy. Isn't that wonderful? But we are looking and finding fault. That's it. That's it. That's it. So many of us have been abused so much, so long, so often. We can't believe somebody really go that far out of their way. And then to get a human to do it for you, you're like, no, something ain't right, because humans don't do that. But here's the best thing. If you know what it's like to be loved from God, then he said we ought to be able to show that love abroad, right? Amen. We ought to be able to show that. So stop finding fault with your brothers and sisters. Amen. Whatever's wrong with them is wrong with you. Amen. There's nothing wrong with Beverly that ain't wrong with me. Amen. Amen. There's, there's, there's no different. Amen. Amen. Come on, Sister Sabrina. You, you can close this out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone bow your heads. Amen. Another great message. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you. We just thank you, Lord God, for how you care so much about us, Lord Jesus. Lord God. I just ask that you just help us, Lord God, to just, just put our lives on the shelf. Yeah. Lord God, to put you first, Lord Jesus, yeah. because nothing else matters, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, because you died for us, Lord God, and the, the least that we can do, Lord Jesus, is just to die out for you, yeah. to die out, Lord Jesus. Lord God, help us, Lord God, to transform our mind, change the way we think, Lord God, to welcome our struggles, Lord Jesus. Lord God, because you only have our best interest at heart, Lord God. Lord God, it's only, it's only because of you, Lord God, that we can get to heaven, Lord Jesus. And we just need to just be reminded, Lord God, that, that everything that you do for us is for us. It's for us. Everything that you do for us is for us. So to welcome the struggles, to welcome the pain, to welcome, Lord God, everything that you have for us because it's for us. It's to make us better. It's to get us to heaven. Let us not be afraid, Lord Jesus, of what you have in store for us. Lord God, we love you. We want to do right, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, make us do right, Lord Jesus. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us, Lord Jesus. Lord God, because our hope is within you, for, is to see your face. Our hope is to be home, to go home, to be with you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the messages on today, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the upcoming week, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. For just putting it in our mind, Lord God, that just we want to do better. We want to do better. Lord Jesus, we thank you again for all that you do for us, for all that you're going to do for us. Lord God, bring us back at the next appointed time, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to just give you the glory. Yeah. Give you the glory for everything, for everything that you do. Our tests, yeah. our trials, yeah. what we think is bad. The good and the bad, everything. Lord God, and we just praise you. We just praise you. We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to love you, Lord Jesus, and just bring us back at the next appointed time. In Jesus' name.